Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to troubleshoot the Intel dual band wireless AC7260 connectivity problems, or it is disconnecting from your computer and the drivers might not be compatible with your device. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you want to go ahead and first open up the start menu. Type in troubleshoot. Best result should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that to open it up. Select troubleshoot on the left panel here. And then on the right side, scroll down and left click on additional troubleshooters. Scroll down underneath find and fix other problems and select network adapter. Find and fix problems with wireless and other network adapters. Go ahead and left click on that. And then select run the troubleshooter. Okay, so once that's done, we can close out of here. Now go up to underneath Get Up and Running, and now select Internet Connections, find and fix problems of connecting to the Internet or to websites, and select Run the Troubleshooter. This will also take a moment to run, so please be patient. You might have to try and troubleshoot your connection to the Internet, so go ahead and select that. And you see it didn't find a problem in our case. Hopefully it did in your case, and you can just you know restart your computer at that point, and it should all be good. A further step, so I believe this would be step number three or option number three, uh, would be to open up the start menu, type in device manager, best result, should come back with device manager listed right above control panel. Go ahead and left click on that. Double click on the network adapters section, so double click on that. And now there should be something that says dual band wireless under here. So you want to go locate that. I don't have it in my case, but again, underneath network adapter, if you double clicked on it or left click on a little arrow next to it, you could just expand the drop down. You want to locate where it says Intel dual band wireless AC7260. Again, that's exactly what you want to look for. In my case, I don't have it, but we're going to just walk through the same steps regardless. But again, you want to look for the dual band wireless AC7260 and right click on it and select properties. You want to now go ahead and select the power management tab. So go ahead and left click on that. And then near the top, it should say allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Go ahead and uncheck that option. So go ahead and make sure it's unselected or deselected. And then go ahead and select OK once you have confirmed that. At this point, go ahead and close out of here. Open up the start menu. Select the gear icon on the left side where you hover over it. It says settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Select the system tile, display, sound, notifications, power. Go ahead and left click on that. It should be right at the top. And select power and sleep on the left side. And now on the right, you want to go down underneath related settings and select additional power settings. Go ahead and left click on that. This will open up the classic control panel. And from here, you want to go ahead and select where it says change plan settings that correspond to whichever plan is currently selected. So go ahead and select that. And now you will select change advanced power settings. You want to now go ahead and locate wireless adapter settings. Go ahead and click the little plus sign next to it. And then it should say power saving mode. Go again, select the plus sign. Where it says setting, you may have something that says on battery and plugged in. You might have two different options here if you're running a laptop. If you just have a desktop computer, it might just have one setting here. Otherwise, there might be two. You want to go ahead and select both options to maximum performance. So if you click inside maximum performance here, you see it doesn't actually look like it's an option to click, but when you do click it, a drop down will appear that you can then select maximum performance and like I said if you're using a laptop there might be a plugged in option as well as on battery make sure both of them are set to maximum performance once that is done select apply and OK to save the change if any changes were needed and then that should hopefully be about it guys so as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye